Hi there Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for February. You can start this month quite focused on balancing the books. Now, of course, that's not always a fun thing to do, especially when incomes seem to be dropping and costs seem to be rising. But you can bring some inspiration to the party because of the full moon which occurred towards the end of January, which radiates into this month. This and its link with Jupiter really gives you an opportunity to think creatively about how you can marshal your resources. You're also helped by the fact that on the second of this month, Venus moves into your second solar house, and this usually coincides with an improvement in our income. So expect a, a pickup in the money coming into your, your life in the, in the weeks of this month. But on the same day, the second, Mars moves. Mars moves into a quick moving area which can see you more inquisitive, but it can also see you more assertive, but it merges almost straight away with Neptune. For the first week of February, I think it's important that you're very, very careful when it comes to what you speak out strongly about. Make sure your facts are absolutely straight. Someone could also tell you something that's an absolute barefaced lie, especially when Mercury moves on the 6th. It too merges with Neptune. And information can be very hazy at best and downright deceptive at worst. Just bear this in mind. Fortunately, there is a great link between Venus and Uranus in the first few days, from the 2nd through to the 4th. A family situation or something linked to a property could be linked to how you have this, uh, this uh, slice of fortune financially. Now, there is going to be a wonderful new moon on the 10th, which is another factor in helping you to think more progressively about how you can manage your resources. Part of it, of course, is to understand our desire, the desire side of our nature. And if you have found it a little bit difficult to grapple with uh, an early year resolution to manage your diet more effectively, this new moon is saying to you to value yourself better, and then perhaps the desire to prop up yourself like we all do with the calorific goodies that give us a kind of instant hit, can ebb away a little bit. Now, there is, on the 18th, the backward rotation, unfortunately, of your ruling planet of Saturn. This is going to go on for five and a half months. Friendships come under the astral microscope, as do your future direction in life. There could be some changes here. There could be some retractions. You may have a little bit of a clearing out. You may need to simplify some of your goals. And perhaps some of the people that you thought were friends can turn out to be, well, more of the fair weather variety. But on the 19th, hope springs eternal when the sun moves into a great part of your scope and the pace of life can pick up eventually, but not straight away. It too gets snared with Neptune. Your nervous system could be, the benefit, could be what takes the hit here. And I think it's possible for a few days you could feel a bit washed out. However, towards the end of the month, Venus also moves into this slinky sector of words, talk and thought. Venus here can give you enormous charm, but it also can lead to a conversation which may not be true. Perhaps it's your words that maybe you need to be conscious of your motives around, or someone else, what they say to you. If you're internet dating, I'd be a little bit wary all through this month, quite frankly. Not everything you're told may be strictly the truth. But it's also important to be straightforward in your own way of approaching communications. Say what you mean, mean what you say. By the end of the month, as you shake off Venus's conjunction with Neptune, I do feel that you're going to feel like engaging with life quite a lot more. Your mind can be buzzing and anything to do with publishing, whether it's online, a local newsletter, or it's to do with teaching, learning on a new skill course, anything which really adds to your knowledge can see you really verved up as this month draws to a close. Thank you for joining me. Good, mu good, good luck and goodbye for now.